Hello and welcome back to my channel Cab for Jordan. Today what I'll be doing is showing you how to use the break effect within a CAD drawing and why you might want to be using the break effect. So I'll be showing you on this little shaft that I have right here and the reason for that is because, well I'll show you. So if I want to put this shaft on my drawing and do it at this 1 to 2 scale you see that it just doesn't fit. So if I maybe make it 1 to 4 so that way it's half the size it fits. But once I change the line weight here once I want to start detailing these end details on my shaft you'll see that it's actually really small so we could use a detailed view to make this bigger or for a bit more of a holistic approach what we can do is we can get the break command found at the top here in the modify section and then we're going to select our view once we've selected our view we need to press once to make our first break and then we're going to move along and press it one more time for our second break and now you'll see that it's massively shortened and what this allows us to do is up that scale and now you'll see with that same scale as I had before at 1 to 2 the entire shaft can actually fit onto the drawing as you've seen just there I can now actually grab these brake grips and move them about if I move it further away from the other grip then more of the part will be in this hidden area in the middle if maybe I go too far I can then grab this grip and move it towards the other one or even past it and then more of it will be shown pretty self-explanatory so yeah that is the break tool and now what i can do is bring this to even a one-to-one -one scale because all of the details in the center here of the shaft are very obvious very basic there's nothing actually um, worth showing so i can just have the ends of the shaft right there now something that you might be thinking is does other dimensions still the same and yes you can see there that's 450 even though it is a lot shorter visually than this 100 it's still showing the correct dimensions from this shaft and now I can quickly just dimension in all of this uh, shaft detail at the end here nice and easy so yeah that's the reason that you'd use a brake tool and how you use the brake tool if you'd like to learn more about Autodesk Inventor then check out my course on Udemy it's aimed at beginners to intermediates it has a lot of learning resources all in one place yeah give it a go check it out also there's Black Friday sales on at the moment so make sure that you jump on that because it's cheap as chips but yeah thank you very much for watching